Hello everyone, in this video, we will explain practical number 3. Circle diagram of three-phase induction motor and significance of the circle diagram. The main aim of the practical is to perform no load test and blocked rotor test. On three-phase induction motor, draw the circle diagram and calculate all the motor parameters. The objective of the practical is to determine the relationships between Number 1. Applied voltage and input power Number 2. Applied voltage and stator current Number 3. Applied voltage and rotor current Number 4. Applied voltage and current In order to draw the circle diagram, we need to carry the following test. Firstly, no load test is conducted. The no load test for the induction motor is like the open circuit test of the transformer. It provides information about the magnetizing branch and the rotational loss of the machine. The no load test is done by applying rated frequency and voltage to the stator. Windings with no load on the shaft of the machine. Voltage, line current, and power readings are noted. The power at no load P note is the sum of rotational losses, copper losses of the stator, and core loss. Rotational losses can be measured by driving motor at rated speed with no voltage applied. After the no-load test, blocked rotor test is conducted. This test is like the short-circuit test of a transformer. During this test, the rotor is physically restrained so it cannot turn. Because the speed of the rotor is zero, so the slip is one. This test is done at just enough voltages to provide the rated current. Hence the block rotor test is also termed as short circuit test. In this test the power factor is lagging but improves due to increase in the active power which causes the active component of the current to increase accordingly, while the reactive current component remains constant. This test is done to determine the short circuit current eyes with normal. Applied voltage to stator power factor on short circuit, total equivalent resistance and reactance of the motor is referred to the stator. In the circuit diagram we can see that the three phase supply is given to the wattmeter. From the wattmeter it is connected to the stator winding. To wattmeter method is used to in this connection. Here is the detailed connection explained with the component used. Components that are required in this practical are three phase variant. 1 volt meter to watt meter because we are following to watt meter method 1 amp meter 3 phase induction motor connecting prongs and to crocodile type clip tachometer to measure the speed of motor First let's connect the motor. Induction motor can be connected either delta or star, depending upon the voltage required for particular experiment. In this practical we have connected the induction motor in delta. M and C in the watt meter has to be shown in. our YB connection from various supply that is red, yellow, and blue phase. Now blue phase is connected to the M of the second watt meter. From the L of second watt meter to blue phase of motor is connected. Now red phase from various supply is given to M of the first watt meter. The first watt meter to ammeter is connected. Now from ammeter to red phase of the motor is connected. Yellow phase from the supply is connected to the P of the second watt meter. Now let's connect P of the first watt meter to the P of second watt meter. The first watt meter to the yellow phase of motor is connected. Now the voltmeter is connected parallel or across the supply. First we'll perform no load test. Close the main switch and apply the voltage to the stator with the help of auto transformer. 
At about 20 to 25 of the rated voltage, the rotor will start rotating and will pick up the speed mirror to its rated speed current, speed, and power inputs. Increase the voltage on. Increase the voltage in steps and record the readings for each step. Increase the voltage up to rated value. Tabulate observations and calculate power input and power factor for each. Reading. Now block rotor test. Tie or clamp the rotor in such a way that it cannot rotate. Apply very low voltage and then gradually step by step increase the voltage to the stator windings until a current of 30% above the normal full load current of the motor is reached. Record at each step the readings of all the meters. Tabulate the readings. From the no load test, we found out that no load voltage is equals 380 volt. No load current is equals to 0.5 ampere and no load power is equals 720 watt. Similarly, from blocked rotor test we found that short circuit voltage is equals 90 volt. Short circuit current is equals to 0.3 ampere and short circuit power is equals to 120 watt. From this data we must calculate the angle phi note and phi SC. Then short a circuit current with normal voltage ISN and power with normal. Voltage PSN is calculated by using a given formula. After that we should choose a drawing scale based upon the value of ISN and short circuit current. From our data we have taken the scale as 1 centimeter is equals 1 ampere. Similarly, power scale is calculated. And the value was 1 centimeter is equals 635.66 watt. And no load power is equal 720 watt. Now we will draw the circle diagram based upon the reading observed during the experiment. Firstly, draw the line OO dash at an angle phi naught. Similarly, draw the line OA at angle phi SC. Draw a line perpendicular to the reference line. Connect O dash and O which represent the output line. Bisect the output line and mark the center C. Draw the circle taking the radius of O dash C. Draw a line perpendicular to O dash D from A. After that draw the torque line O dash E. Mark rotor cover loss, stator cover loss and fixed loss. To find the full load current and full load phase angle draw the A. Draw a line parallel to output line until the line moves out of the semicircle. Full load current is represented by line OP. Draw a line tangent to the line perpendicular to the center of the semicircle, which represent maximum input. Draw a tangent line perpendicular to the torque line, which represent maximum torque. Lastly, draw a tangent line perpendicular to the output line, which represent maximum output. That completes the circle diagram of the three-phase induction motor. That is all for the practical number three circle diagram of three-phase induction motor. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe our YouTube channel.